clocks is one of those very subtle Pilates exercises that look, from the outside it looks like you're not doing anything at all, but actually you're doing quite a lot. It's brilliant for loosening up the lower back muscles and all the muscles within the pelvis and subtly working the core, the pelvic floor and the lower abdominal. And we do it all from the relaxation position, so come to lying on your mats. Take a moment to get yourself into a good relaxation position with your pelvis in neutral and your feet and knees hip width apart. Have your feet that you can feel the front of your foot and not all your weight is going through your heel. Now when you first start this exercise you find that your knees start moving all the way around and I want you to just really focus if you can on keeping your knees in line with your hips and just isolating the movement from your pelvis. You're not going to use your buttocks, you're just using your pelvic floor and your lower abdominals. Your arms can be relaxed by your side. I'm going to take my arms a little bit further out to the side and then you can see a little bit more what's going on with my pelvis. But to be honest, you don't see a huge amount on the camera, so just really listen to what I'm saying and then work, we'll work together. So we're going to use the analogy of a clock. So if you imagine you've got a little clock on your lower abdominal between your tummy button and your pubic bone, it's the size of a small saucer. In fact, it mirrors the, the, your sacrum behind. So it's just the sacral area, this little bit in the centre here. It's not the whole of the back of the pelvis. So it's a quite a small clock and it's mirrored on the front um, on your tummy, between your tummy button and your pubic bone. So when you're in neutral, you've got a, a marble sitting in the middle of this clock and when you're in neutral the marble is sitting right in the centre. 12 o'clock is towards your tummy button, 6 o'clock is towards your pubic bone and then you've got 3 o'clock on one hip bone and 9 o'clock on the other hip bone and all the other numbers of the clock in between. Each number on the clock has a little indentation and you're going to be rolling your imaginary marble around the rim of your clock trying to get it to connect with each and every number. So while you're in neutral, the, pelvis, the marble is sitting in the middle of your pelvis. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, pull in your core and do your pelvic curl and your marble will now roll to 12. Now try and not use your buttocks and you're not lifting your pelvis off the mat. So I'm going to put my finger here. So now at the moment my marble is at 12. And now roll your marble to 1 and to 2 and to 3. Now at 3, this hip bone is going down towards the mat a bit more and this hip bone in the back of the sacrum here is lifted very slightly off. And now 4, 5. Now at 6, I've got the same amount of weight through the left and the right side of my sacrum, but I'm very slightly lifted in my back and my pubic bone is going very slightly down towards the floor. So that's 6. So keep it going down as it goes to 7, 8, and then 9, 10, 11, and back to 12 where I'm in my pelvic curl. Just come back to neutral for the moment. So you want to make the clock quite small. You're not going around the outside rim of your pelvis. It's just this little saucer in the centre here and you want to keep it reasonably slow. Now if you come across any points on that clock where you find it quite hard to get that marble to connect, those are your tight areas and you want to really pull in your core a little bit more, really try and get the marble to connect with each of those points. So let's give it a go. Try and keep your knees still, your feet still, and if possible, keep your head still so you're not also doing a circle with your head. It actually looks really easy. It's much harder than it looks. But the more you do this, the easier it will be. So from neutral, take a breath in. As you breathe out, pull in your core, do your pelvic curl, and roll your marble to 12. Now, it's just natural breathing from here. Roll to 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do one more in this direction. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then come back to neutral. So I'm not using my buttocks, I'm not lifting my pelvis, I'm keeping the circle, the clock quite small, and I'm just using my pelvic floor and my lower abdominals. Now we're going to do some clocks in the opposite direction. And because we're recruiting muscles in a different order, it can be either easier or a little bit more difficult. So again, if you find an area that's very tight, then just pull in that core a little bit more, really try and get the marble to connect with that area and try and loosen it all up. So keep the shoulders relaxed, arms by your side. <coughs> I'm gonna keep my arms a little bit out to the side so you can see my pelvis. So from neutral, take a breath in. As you breathe out, pull in your core and do a nice pelvic curl, rolling your marble to 12. Now natural breathing, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, we'll do one more, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, and come back to neutral. So those are the pelvic clocks. And as I say, it's much harder when you first start. And if you haven't done it for a while, it takes a bit of getting back into it. But really practice it. Really focus on all those areas. And it'll really help with loosening up your lower back. And we use it in lots of different routines. Mm -hmm.